Hey, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be reading Reddit stories and we are going to rank them from 1 to 10. 1 being maybe they're just misunderstood and 10 being they're the worst person I've ever heard about on Reddit. Um, so I'm going to start reading and then we're going to get into it. Alright, am I the for returning my wife's <coughs> shoes? My wife was at the doctor's office for our baby's two-week checkup when I stumbled upon new purchases in her closet. As in shoes, flip-flops, flip -flops, sandals, etc. It looked pretty close to the one she had already had in the closet that she had bought earlier this year in preparation, oh. I guess, for summer. I hate the way this guy writes. I'm already against this guy just for his grammar. Except the shoes were much bigger than the ones she had previously. This is our first baby, and to be honest, what I noticed more than anything is the fact that her feet have gotten swollen, uh, wider and longer as her pregnancy progressed. It has been a big mood killer for me, and it's made worse by the fact that my mom compares pregnancy feet to a loaf of bread, and I can only visualize her feet like that. But more than that, my mom said that feet are supposed to shrink after pregnancy, and that weight loss is a big part of it. So I was upset that my wife just spent all this money on new shoes when she barely goes anywhere outside of either her bedroom or our baby's room, and should be gunning for weight loss instead of throwing in the towel. I thought that it was in an impulsive purchase, that in the end was going to waste money and disincentivize her, her to lose weight and look for solutions to her swollen feet. As a result, I ended up taking the shoes back and getting refunds. Now, my wife is pissed and I feel like she's just going to refuse to lose weight out of spite. Am I the asshole? I can't help feeling not attracted to her and unfortunately, the state of her feet is something I notice very clearly. And I'm also still mad that she used my money without permission and I'm tempted to cut up the credit cards she uses if she is going to continue to impulse buy. So <clears throat> he has a foot fetish. I was gonna say it seems to that feet yeah. are very important, <laughs> and so you might want to subscribe to our Patreon because with our Patreon comes uh, 35 free pictures of Lucy's feet. Lucy, we can't give that for free. <laughs> Bl blur that. Blur that. Okay, who wants to go? Uh, Matt, you go first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't think he's necessarily the asshole. I get, I get that she wants to be comfortable, but like, get cheap shoes. Don't, don't spend, don't spend a ton of money. Um, she already bought the shoes before. She bought the same ones. I don't, I don't know. Just get over it. Lose some weight. <laughs> what's your, what's your rating for this guy? <laughs> oh oh that's my god. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. On a scale of one to ten, for am I the devil? I'm gonna say he's a three. Okay. Three. Matt somewhat agrees with this guy. I don't agree with him. <laughs> Matt would do this. Matt would do <laughs> this, this. Is, this is me. So I, I understand where he was coming from in he doesn't want his wife to buy expensive shoes that she's not going to be able to wear for very long, but every action that he took after coming to that conclusion was wrong. He is saying he's not attracted to his wife, he's mad about her feet. Um, I think he's very stressed out, and he's like taking it out on her is kind of what I'm getting from this, and his grammar is horrible. Um, this guy is an eight, I think. Um, I think this guy was the asshole in the situation, so. Damn, son. Robert, what do you think? Uh, Kieran, I completely agree with you in every single statement you said. That's exactly what I was going to say. I love hearing that. I give him an eight too, maybe an 8.5. I... I was in awe back here whenever I heard the, the part where he was like, my mom compares my wife's feet to a loaf of bread. <laughs> That's so funny. So yeah, he's definitely an eight. Um, yeah, yeah some, some red flags. Damn, am I the asshole? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see what it um, So I literally have two notes written down that says foot fetish, question mark, and then husband asshole. <laughs> so That's, <fair>. um, <laughs> That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at a woman's feet that hard, you have issues. Mm -hmm. Second of all, don't tell your wife to lose weight. That's the number one way to, like, if I was his wife, I'm killing him in his sleep. Also, it's two, week, it's two week checkup. It's not like this is six months after she gave birth and she's still yeah. Literally. It, she gave Literally. birth two weeks ago. She's got, she's got time to wear them. She's got time to Let wear them. Let her have her cankles. Like, Damn. <laughs> like, she's probably still, like, in like her bed rest phase, two weeks after yeah. pregnant, yeah. like after giving Agreed. birth. And uh, yeah, foot fetish, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing that really, really pissed me off. So like, I'm I'm gonna put ten. I was thinking eight, but okay. I'm gonna put ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the reason why is the power dynamic this guy has. So yeah. I'm assuming she's like independent because he has all the credit cards and he's like gonna cut them. 
that's cutting her off. And mm -hmm. like, that's her source of income. She probably like went with this man deciding that like, oh, like he's gonna help me out. And then does that to her? That's really. <sighs> yeah, it's fair. Um, oh, and, do you have a, do you have a ring? Yeah, seven out of 10. Sorry, and what if her shoes were like limited edition and she can't get those back, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, what if she got like some designer shoe and you know, it was really important to her? Mm -hmm. Or like, what if she just wanted to look nice for some event they have coming up? So she bought those shoes Facts. and knows that there's an event. Mm -hmm. The the price thing on the shoes is the only thing that I even sort of agree with yes, on. Is that I, if she is spending too much money on shoes, that's a problem. But talk but, to her about yeah, it. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that, Robert. Also, he is, should have gone about it differently. If, if she like has multiple babies, like maybe this is the first one. Maybe she'll use those shoes again. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's right? true. They could be yeah. planning on having other children. Yeah, yeah, now I have big feet shoes for when I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna big feet right this next kid, so I got big feet shoes. She never sold feet, the shoes for big more. Feet shoes. Shoes. Yeah, um, yeah. This guy, I think pretty unanimous except for Matt. No, I'd like to change my answer, actually. After hearing you guys, I kind of zoned out there at the end. I am going to up my answer to a six. I am. I mean, look, it's, it's okay. This guy, I think, is not an asshole enough for you. Like, it's okay for you to consider this guy not being an asshole. I don't think this was like a, a 10, 100% this guy was no, wrong. He's not the worst guy we're going to hear from, I hope. The message for this one, talk to your, talk to your wife. Talk, talk to your wife. But Talk don't tell to her she needs to lose weight or she'll kill you in your sleep. Yeah, agree. Am I the asshole for countering an offensive joke with another one? <coughs> that sounds like you. Yes. <laughs> Two of my friends are, are on vacation uh, that we've been looking forward to for a while. Uh, we left our country for two weeks, so I regularly talk on the phone with my girlfriend. While I'm speaking with her, one of my friends loudly asked me, Hey, did you pay the hookers? This was obviously meant as a joke to confuse my girlfriend, and I reply, Only your mom. It could come back. His response to this was to get mad at me and call me insensitive for taking it too far. His response, not even his girlfriend. When I reminded him, I'm sorry, when I reminded him that his joke was also vulgar, he told me it's different. I think it's fine to be uncomfortable with certain types of humor, but he shouldn't dish it out if he can't take it. So Reddit, am I the uh, Some additional context, his mother passed away last month, which is probably the reason why the joke upset him more than it normally would have. Damn. <laughs> um, okay, I'd like to go first on this one. Okay. Right, tell us how it is, Kieran. I had a one locked in until yeah. the last context that was added. I was like, that's totally fine. His friend is overreacting. And it's like, yeah, his mom died last month. I don't know why he's freaking out about it. Uh, yeah, you're probably the in this situation, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say a 10. Wow. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Right. And well, I was going to say a one that's, until, that's a big until the end. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, and the, he's like, it's probably the reason. He doesn't even know. He can't even, doesn't even have like the emotional maturity to connect that to his friend being mad about what he said. Like, no respect for his friends in any way. Uh, can't read a room and can't cultivate a long term friendship with anybody. <laughs> Ten locked in. I'll go next. <laughs> oh, yeah, what do, you, what do you feel about it? I'm giving this guy a 3 out of 10. Oh. Alright. <laughs> if, you, if you can't take it, you can't give it. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, if you're gonna, if you're gonna throw, if you're gonna throw a jab out there, if you're gonna throw an offensive joke out there, you gotta be able to take a one up. You know? And that's, a, personally, if you're my friend, you can handle it. Alright? So, yes, the mom passing away is, <laughs> makes it a little far. But he's not, he's not that bad of a guy. You know, he's not a 10 out of 10 You know, maybe he didn't mean to take it that far, but he did. <laughs> All right. So three out of 10. That is Matt's real opinion. <laughs> I don't think he's a full 10 out of 10, just cause I think that the previous one was worse. Um, however, <laughs> I do think this is still pretty high, just considering the yeah, his mom died last month. It was far too soon to make that joke. So I'm gonna give him a seven, just because of that. Though, I was with you, Karen. The entire thing, I was like, no, this isn't that bad. He's overreacting. Yeah. And then that last statement <laughs> came in. Yeah, that, that last sentence came like a wrecking ball. That, that, that one really, like... Why was that additional context? That should be the main context. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, yeah Start I with think, that. Yeah, I, think he, I don't think he's aware that's a big deal. Personally, I give it a two. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> um, I make your mom jokes all the time. 
And in a similar context, I've forgotten my stepmom's mom had passed away two weeks prior. <laughs> and so I've been in this situation, except she didn't get mad at me. All she said was, my mom's dead, bitch. And I said, still your mom. And then we giggled about it, because we are we make offensive jokes. So maybe you should just get better friends. Lucy, I also like that you, in your notes, you titled This Is Your Mom. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, this one's really hard, and maybe I might change my mind later, but I think 10 would probably be like level of stupidity. Now for being an a because like that's his friend, that's his homie, and like if he knew that was gonna hurt him, like probably shouldn't, like he should like calm back. Um, Cause he was just like teasing him and his like girlfriend. So I'm gonna give him like maybe an eight just cause I think he's probably stupid. <laughs> okay, we all agree like, he's stupid. That's, <laughs> that's the agreement here. Yeah, I didn't yeah. agree that. <laughs> Except for Lucy. I mean, look, if your mom died last month, that's a little soon. Uh, like, yeah, like I mean, honestly, just, just you know. get over it, right? <laughs> yeah. no. She's in the ground, just shut the <laughs> That's crazy. It's in the past is in the past. All right. Yeah. That, includes, that includes your mom. If, if it was an accident, well, I would have cleared it. Like it's also know, like you like, don't know how his mom died too, and that's the other thing. It could be something death. that was very tragic. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Something with Ops. That's that's also part of the reason I wrote a Because <laughs> it's like. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my husband that it's weird how much he babies my stepson? So his son. No. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't Is that a type? Yeah, no. My husband had three kids before we got together. His oldest, my stepson Brian, 15 male, is a total daddy's boy. He wants to spend all his time at his dad's, even when it's his mom's week. Anytime he has a fight with his mom or stepdad, he's running over to, uh, to ours to cuddle up to his dad with his head in my husband's lap while he comforts him. Anytime he's upset about anything or had a really bad day, etc., he needs dad time. His other kids are 13 and 11, aren't like this, and hell, even our five-year-old isn't as bad. Brian apparently got broken up with yesterday, and I came home from work to find him cuddled up to my husband, crying into his lap. I decided maybe I should say something. <clears throat> after Brian fell asleep after a while, my husband got up. I asked him if maybe he was babying Brian too much. Wrong too. Uh, he goes... He goes, what did I mean? And I tell him that Brian sometimes acts like a little kid with him, for example, today. God, I hate the way she writes. He tells me that it's not fair that Brian's first boyfriend just broke up with him. Okay, that explains some stuff. I tell him exactly he's a boy. He's supposed to be out with his boys getting over this other kid, not cuddled up to his dad like a little kid. She writes like shit. He tells me there's nothing wrong with comforting his kid. I ask him, what would Brian's football or wrestling teammates think and how embarrassed he'd be if they found out? How unmanly it makes a rough and tumble country boy like Brian look. My husband tells it doesn't matter what I think or anyone else's, especially since I'm not his parent. Uh, he's been mad at me since I'm like <sighs> Now who's the strongest opinion? <clears throat> Let's go first. <laughs> I think Robert. Well, it's kind of easy. Right, Robert, what do you got? Well, it's like, you're assuming things about your child. Just let your child be your child. And I get that it's not your child, but let the kid be a kid. Let the kid be himself. So, yeah, you're, you're definitely the a I'm going to give this the same I gave the the, the uh, other one. I'm going to give it an 8. Yeah. Okay. It's, I went at 6 out of 10. Um, first of all... I mean, I get like saying something because it is a little old to be acting like that in my opinion. My brothers, when they were 15, 16, 17, they didn't do that, but they also didn't have dads, LOL. Um, <laughs> sorry, Whoa. just remembered that fact. But like, I don't know, I'm 21 years old and I still curl up in my mom's lap and cry like a little kid when something happens to me. And I, like, nothing's gonna change that. So yeah, you are an ass for saying that. Yeah. Like, let the man comfort his child. A lot of fathers don't. It's also like, no matter no matter the kid's age, sorry, I don't mean to no, you're take good. over. It's, no matter the kid's age, he's div he might not be the same as the other children. He has his own varying emotional levels, his own varying emotional states. He's going through a lot. He's in high school or middle school or whatever schooling he is in. He's in uh, high school. He's figuring out a lot about himself, clearly. 
So just let him let him curl up in his father's lap. Let him go to his dad because that's that's what he has. It's his safe space. Exactly. I think like towards the end, you can kind of catch how like bitter she is and like a little bit of her bias. I'm gonna I'm gonna count this one as an eight. I think a lot of men don't have a lot of like safe spaces, and it's like really hurtful. Like you know, you're 15, you're going through a lot of hormonal changes, you're in high school, and like you know, to be able to have that comfort with like a father figure is like incredible that you don't really even hear that like, yeah. e ever like so like he, I'm happy that that person has that relationship with their like father. So I have these, I, I'm gonna get the same rating as you Fernando for a different reason. I do think mm -hmm. this is an eight, um, but I actually think she's right. Uh, partially. I think that partially. I, I, it's, I, it's very good for this kid to have like a good a good father to come home to and to talk things out with. I do think she's right. I think he's babying him a little bit too much. Sometimes you do need some tough love with kids, especially with with boys turning into young men. They need to understand that sometimes stuff's gonna go wrong, and you need to suck it up and move on. Uh, but I think the way that she's gone about this is very controlling and very self-centered, especially with her word choice. Um, am I the for telling my husband that it's weird how much he babies my stepson? It's not your stepson in this situation, it's your husband's child. But she's looking at it only like from her perspective. So even though I agree with her somewhat, I do think she is wrong in the way she went about it. Eight locked in. <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree with Kieran a lot here. Um, I do think you are supposed to have that safe space, especially with parent. Um, he is 15, and I also think it's a father's responsibility to toughen up, especially your boys. Um, a little bit, so I think he's definitely got to slow down the cuddling, the putting his 15-year-old son in his lap, and that's that's a little weird to me for 15. Uh, I give it a five because I think it is good that she brought it up, but once again, not her son, mm -hmm. so she can't she can't change anything. Um, but I think it's I think it's fine to bring it up. Five out of ten. Yeah, I, I agree. Talking about it and being like, hey. Um, I, I have this issue with this thing. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about it. Like if, if they had talked, to, all of these have been, if they had talked about it like adults, the situation could have been rectified. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I almost wonder if like the cuddling thing is like an over like exaggeration. Yeah. She, she probably is. We, we only have so of, much to go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? All right, last one. Uh, am I the asshole or trying to see both sides of the situation? <clears throat> I know my boyfriend Mike can be a lot. He has some hang-ups about food uh, because he is autistic. One is he won't eat previously hot food uh, if it gets cold. Okay. Uh, he has been like that and it's harmless. We went to a friend's house for dinner and she cooked us all tacos with homemade salsa. And I, uh, and I told her I could never get my salsa right, and oh my god, and she told me the tomatoes and things in salsa are traditionally roasted or boiled first. God, people can't like write to save their lives on Reddit. Alright, uh, she, uh, she is Mexican descent, oh, descent, oh, sorry, my bad. She is Mexican <laughs> descent, but grew up here. Uh, Mike started to tell her it wasn't right, and salsa is made fresh in Mexico. She explained uh, pico de gala is fresh. And salsa is roasted, and Mike argued until it was shown on him or shown to him on Google, TikTok, and YouTube on how to prepare. I know Mike can be stubborn, and I never argue with him uh, when he's in a mood. And said it was stupid to heat up salsa and serve it cold. I don't know what triggered it, but Mike was asked to leave after that comments, and it became a whole uh, screaming match at him, and everyone yelled at him. I felt bad and tried to defend him, but we had to leave. I was told as long as I'm dating Mike, I can't hang out with my friends anymore. Uh, because they call him racist. He's not. I tried explaining he's autistic and has food aversions, and it just probably bothered him that a hot dish was served cold. I was, t uh, I was told how it doesn't matter that he shouldn't argue uh, with someone how a cultural dish is prepared, especially when it's prepared by someone of that culture, and uh, to call cooking and to call it a stupid cooking method. My friends told me to do better and not date someone like Mike, no one will discuss it with me, and Mike called them all bully ass bitches. I tried explaining it to him why it might be considered racist, uh, but he told me to shut it and has been really distant to me saying uh, I put him in that position. I see both sides of the issue, and I hate that everyone is mad at me. 
Oh. Um, I think we should separate this one a little bit and do a rating for both the boyfriend and the girl posting this. And you can do the friends too if you're gonna uh, do that. And the friends. Yeah, man, we do. We do a trifecta. All right. Uh, you wanna go first, Ben? Sure. So first things first. On the reels. The. <laughs> yes. Second thing <coughs> is it's not his place. You know, if you're if if you care that if you don't want to eat the food, don't eat the food. All right. Just let it go. Um, friends went too far with the calling him racist and telling him that. He can't be around when they hang out. Um, and the whole situation is extremely dramatic. It's about salsa. Let's grow the f up. Oh, my rating? Uh, the sh is she the a Absolutely not. No, she's not the a She didn't do anything wrong. This is, this situation hardly <coughs> has anything to do with her, except for the fact that she is the middleman that brings these groups together. So I honestly, I'm gonna give her a two, and that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Oh, we're doing the boyfriend and the friends. Um, the boyfriend is more of an asshole. Um, um, he needs to mind his own business. So I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a seven, and I'm gonna give the friends a seven. Equally. Mm -hmm. You to go over? Oh yeah, what yeah. Um, she's absolutely not the. Asshole. She's done her best to de-escalate the situation. She did her best to de-escalate the situation in the moment and all that her friends have done have made it worse. Um, as someone autistic, we don't always have the option to not say something or not do something. Um, it's just kind of something that happens. This is his thing, this is his trigger. This is the thing that got him. It's not really his fault, it's just that the way that his brain was formed. Um, however, the comment at the end made him more of an a to me. Mm -hmm whenever he told her to shut it, and that he put her, uh, she put him in this position, um, cause she did not. Great, great stuff on her part. She did everything she could to take care of her autistic boyfriend and to take care of the friends. Uh, so the boyfriend's a six for me, <coughs> just because of that final statement. I understand where he's coming from with the hot food, that's his trigger. Um, the friends, however, the friends are major assholes. I'm sorry, that's not racist. Hard stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, hard stop. Uh, they, all they did was escalate the situation and give her an ultimatum in the end, which is not something you should do in a healthy relationship. Never give ultimatums. Um, instead of talking with her about it, they just straight up put up walls. And because of that, they get a nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty fair, I think, too. Who gets a nine? Yeah. Uh, the friends. Yeah, so, friends boyfriend nine. six, mm -hmm. friends nine, girlfriend zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, I agree. I think the friends were the were the main problem here. I definitely don't think Mike is without fault, though. Yeah. Um, being autistic is not an excuse to be an ass in somebody else's house. Um, I don't think he was racist. I think he thought the food was prepared a certain way and he was just wrong, I think is, is kind of the understanding I get from this. Like, I, I don't think he was like, this sucks, I hate Mexican food. He was like, too passionate. yeah, he was like, <laughs> I think this salsa should be prepared this way. Um, and he ended up being wrong about it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. Um, but at the end, I tried explaining, uh, explaining it to him why it might be considered racist, but he told me to shut it, he's been really distant. Um, saying I put him in that situation. Yeah. Um, him taking any of this out on his girlfriend is yeah not a good look for him. Um, I think she did a really good job of mediating and trying to control the situation. Um, clearly, it didn't go well, but I think she did her best. Um, I think I'm gonna put a zero for her. I actually don't think she did anything wrong at all in this situation. I think she was just put in a tough spot. Um, Mike, I'm gonna give a five. I understand where he's coming from. I don't think he was racist. I think it started off with a genuine, like, autistic tick about the mm -hmm. food that he then couldn't drop and blew out of proportion. But yeah. I think the friends are a lot more wrong in this situation. Calling him racist, um, escalating the situation, and not being able to really understand where he was coming from, I'm probably gonna give them a nine. I think they were the main problem here, even though he started it. I think they escalated it, so. That's where I'm at. Zero for her, five for the boyfriend, nine for the friends. All right. 
I have similar ratings. Um, Homegirl did nothing wrong at all. That she was just in there talking about salsa. And that's real. I also love salsa. Um, and Mike, f Mike. I hate you, Mike. Mike, go on somewhere. Um, I get being upset about like a topic. I get really irate when people say the pyramids were built by aliens. I don't, I can't control what comes out of my mouth in that scenario. It makes me literally f***ing livid. Like I can feel my blood boiling. Autistic for the pyramids. But I love the pyramids. Autistic for salsa? Autistic for the pyramids. <laughs> but, Autistic for swords. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can understand being angry in that scenario and like not being able to control what you're saying because I am too like that. Um, but afterwards, to tell your girlfriend who's just trying to mediate and make the situation better and be like, shut it. I will yeah. tie you to train tracks. <laughs> I will have you murdered. Don't play with me. So he gets a six. Um, and then the friends, like one, I love a good, good ultimatum. Ultimatum, how do you say it? Um, but not that one. So they get a nine out of 10 from me. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimatum for the drama, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to be like, get out of my house or die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. I'm 5'3". <laughs> Alright, mine are kind of flipped. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'll, I'll explain for different reasons. Uh, girlfriend Zero, like, she, like she's the hero. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, as long as, long as that was um, your zero. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, um, boyfriend, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a nine rating. Um, you know, at his age, he should be able to, like to assess the situation, regardless of, you know, regardless. Like, you know, he 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 started like cussing out all the friends. Mm -hmm. You know, like regardless, I I I think like regardless, like, you know, you're in a situation and you disagree, and it's okay to disagree. And it's okay to get heated, but for him to like cuss out like her friends. And make a scene was kind of like a little Bit bit hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we don't know how old he, they are, but I mean, they're it sounds like they're adults going to a friend's house. That, that's what I'm assuming. And um, you know, the fact that he wasn't able to apologize after, um, n just for like her, like obviously her feelings are hurt, and they're both in the situation, um, and not being able to attend to that. Um, and then the friends of six, yeah, it was kind of. Um, maybe that's actually should be higher, but they should really care for her. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up to an eight. Move it up to an eight. It was their house. It was their place. Like, you know, if they want you, they shouldn't tell her to break up with him. But they should be like, hey, you know, like I don't feel comfortable with him being at the house again. Um. So yeah, that's where I'm at. It's a confusing board right there. <laughs> What is going on? It's flowers. N Nando, man. And smiley faces. You don't know, we don't know his level of autism. That's my issue with this. Yeah. We don't know what level he was diagnosed with. One so million. if it's straight up a level three, uh, level two even. I'm a level one, so I can kind of get more, a hold of more of me and how my brain works. But mm. anything above that, you can't. My issue with the friends are that they're the ones who actually initiate. Uh, they furthered the trigger and that's why he started cussing because he started getting offended. They started yelling at him. Yeah, I kinda, I kinda got that, yeah. that idea from this. Yeah. That's, that's what happened. He oh, can't okay. control it. Are we, oh, oh, oh well, I, I, one more thing for this I wanted to say. So it does say asshole here. I was concerned that this was about her because she's saying am I the asshole for, for doing this. The asshole here, looking at the comments, it looks like people were saying about the boyfriend, <gasps> not about her. It looks like most people agree that she was like, not the problem. And yeah. I also think that the friends were out. So of ultimately... Course. Yeah, I she, think we can all agree she did a pretty good job. She did a pretty amazing job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, she did best with what she could deal with. So now we are going to d each decide which one of these four we thought was like the worst. Oh, Nelly! <laughs> we are now going to decide which of, which of these we thought were the worst. Um, Matt, you seem really excited. Do you want to go first? Um, yeah, the um, the devil of the four topics um, is absolutely the friends. You know, not your business. You're the you're the devil. Get out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were the four we actually did? 
Uh, um, we did. The, the, I have the names: wife, shoes, wife your shoes. mom, stepson, oh, autism. Step, stepson. <laughs> 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 Boom, man. It's just okay. The, two more the big four. <laughs> <laughs> I said the the biggest, the devil of the of the readings <clears throat> are definitely the friends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the fourth one. So yeah. autism. I, so autism. Yeah. Are those an option? I would say, yeah. yeah, you could pick the fourth one, but specifically right. the friends. Oh, yeah. my shoe. Because there was a bunch of different people in that one. It wasn't just like a, just like this was my side of the story kind of thing. Right. So. I 100% with, uh, agree with Matt there. Woo! Straight emoji. Um, find new friends, honestly. Yeah, girl. Yeah. I agree with that. <coughs> <laughs> yeah? Lucy, are you okay? No. Oh, um, I think... The worst one is probably the wife shoes guy. That one's pretty bad. That, uh, was, my, that, that was almost. I think there's a little bit of a gray area with the salsa one. I think with the wife <laughs> shoes, I think that guy was just kind of. A yeah. yeah. That's my that's my number one. Yeah, I agree with that. That is number one, and I hope he goes to hell. He never <laughs> comes back. He is. Well, he is the devil. The devil. Yeah. I hope he doesn't get to. Yeah, hell. I'm, I'm gonna say number one for power dynamic reasons. And tonight's big loser was wife shoes guy. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Do him. better. How about your <laughs> you wife? You are the shoes? devil. Yeah. And I and the, the worst part is is like I got where he was coming from. He then just you know made an ass. Of himself. Yeah. He went. Yeah. Too far. No, he really did. Yeah. The credit card cutting up the credit card. Business. Yep. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry, I'm gonna kiss you later for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was so zoned out. I forgot. I like in my mind I knew what the end of your sentence was gonna be, and so I was like, "Oh, he's done." <laughs> <laughs> you were still talking. Hey, hey, you! If you like this video, watch this one right over here, or maybe this one. Bye.